we are kicking it off with some chocolate. I'm making a chocolate Rocky Road. I love Rocky Road because you get lots of texture from the added toppings. In today's recipe, I added chocolate chips and a mixture of nuts, and it's such an awesome chocolatey, nutty mixture. I love it. Definitely perfect for a hot summer day, and if you aren't a chocolate lover or you want to check out other delicious ice cream recipes, I will have a playlist down below in the info box, so be sure to check that out. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so. I will have a button right here where you can click on it so you won't miss out on any Ice Cream Week videos or other videos I post on a weekly basis. So let's hop right in into today's recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need coconut milk and soy milk, chocolate chips, soaked cashews, walnuts, cacao powder or you can use cocoa powder as well, coconut oil, maple syrup or any sweetener you like, some ripe avocado, air root flour, vanilla, and some sea salt. In a saucepan, you're going to combine your milk and sweetener, whisk it up, and then bring it over to the stove top to bring to a boil. Once boiled, you can then just give it another whisk and then take some of this mixture out and pour it into a separate bowl. And then add in your air root flour into that bowl and whisk it until dissolved. Then you can add that mixture back into your main pot and simmer on low to medium heat for about five minutes. Once cooked, you just wanna transfer it into a glass bowl so it can fully cool for about 45 minutes. Once cooled, transfer it into your high speed blender, add in your cashews, avocado, make sure it's nice and ripe, coconut oil, cacao powder, sea salt, vanilla, and blend. As always, you'll be able to find the full written directions and recipe over on my blog, healthnutnutrition.ca. Pour your ice cream mixture into your ice cream maker, making sure to follow the directions of whatever machine you're using, and then churn it for about 25 minutes until everything thickens up. During the last five minutes, you can add in your nuts. I gave mine a quick chop, as well as your chocolate chips. I also chopped these as well, just so they kind of melt throughout the ice cream a little bit easier. And then this is what your ice cream should look like. I'm gonna scoop mine out into my ice cream container. And there you have it, your chocolate rocky road. Then for our chocolate sauce, you're going to need a small saucepan with some water in it and then I just place a glass bowl on top, add in your chocolate chips and coconut oil, and then bring that over to the stove top and simmer on low until melted. This is what your chocolate sauce should look like. Give it a quick whisk. And then I just transferred mine into a squeezable container so I could drizzle it all over my ice cream. Serve yourself a couple scoops of ice cream and then drizzle that chocolate sauce all over. I also topped mine with a couple of crushed nuts. You can add on some chocolate chips too if you wanted. And then this is me snapping a photo for Snapchat. And there you have it, an amazing, delicious chocolate Rocky Road ice cream for all you chocolate lovers out there. So that's gonna be it for today's ice cream video. I hope all you chocolate lovers tried out this recipe, and if you do, be sure to snap a photo on social media using the hashtag HealthNutEats so I can find it and like it. I love seeing all your photos on social media, so send me those photos and tag me so I can find them. And if you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you wanna see more summer recipes like this one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!